let us discuss the concept residue it is very interesting concept and it has many applications in complex analysis let us discuss its definition so it definition involves Lorentz series so Lorentz series we have already seen in previous video suppose we had to find residue of a function f of z at point z is equal to z naught so first of all you have to find Lorentz series of that function at z is equal to z naught you know that Lorentz series has two parts analytic part and principal part so as you can see here this f of z has also Lorentz series at z is equal to z naught this is a analytic part of that function series and this is principal part of that series getting so as you can see in a principal part that bracket is in denominator z minus z naught z minus z naught after that z minus z naught square z minus z naught cubed and so on how many terms will be there we don't know getting so what is residue residue is nothing but coefficient of 1 upon z minus z naught as you can see here coefficient of 1 upon z minus z naught that is nothing but b1 so whatever the value of b1 3 by 4 2 by 3 whatever its value doesn't matter so that will be the residue of f of z at z is equal to z naught so this is a definition of residue but see when we solve problems it will be very hectic task to find Lorentz series of any function at z is equal to z naught so there are some nice tricks so using those formulae we can easily find residue of any function at a given point so you can make a screenshot of it after that we are going to discuss those techniques so now let us discuss formulas of finding residue so there are two different formulas to find residue as per the given problem so that means if we have a pole of order one that means if you have a simple pole we have a different formula and if you have a pole of order n then we have to go for second formula so maybe you will get confused what is simple pole and what is pole of order n let us discuss one example suppose we have a function f of z is equal to sin z upon z minus 3 okay so at which point the denominator of that function will be 0 obviously at z is equal to 3 denominator will be 0 so z is equal to 3 is a pole what is power of that bracket there is no any bracket so if you consider this bracket is power 1 so this is pole of order 1 that means we can also call it as a simple pole but if you have a function like this f of z is equal to cos z upon z minus 3 bracket raised to 4 then we say 3 is a pole no doubt but what is its order order is 4 getting so this is a simple pole so for this pole we go for this formula first formula and for pole of order 4 we go for the second formula so let us discuss what are these formulas so when you have a simple pole so let me write the residue here residue so when we have a simple pole formula is also simple what is it limit z tends to z naught z minus z naught f of z so by solving this limit whatever the value you will get that will be the residue of f of z at z is equal to z naught but when you have a pole of order n n means 2 3 4 can be anything other than 1 so in that case its formula will be little bit complicated so formula is 1 upon n minus 1 factorial limit z tends to z naught here we take derivative also huh? n minus 1 derivative of z minus z naught raised to n f of z so by using this formula we get a residue for pole of order n and when you have a simple pole that means pole of order 1 using the first formula we get a residue okay so you can make a screenshot of it after that we will stop thank you bye bye